Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to UWO Classic Smash, episode 36. We got a jam-packed night for you guys, and let's check out the main event of the evening. The main event is going to be Zack the Black Major and Deadpool going against the WrestleStone Champion, Emo Jenkins, and the Spy. And also, Professor Forsworth has an announcement for the Super Smash Bros. But we're going to kick things off with the Cold Division Showcase. Wait, this music sounds familiar. What? George Jetson? George Jetson? I guess a new contender for the Cold Division. This is very interesting to say the least. I mean, how many future, how many people do we have from the future is in the in UWO so far? I know we have Fry, Professor Forsworth, Operation Halo. Uh, they might. I don't know what's going to happen next. Who's the, who's going to be the next entrant in this Cold Division showcase? So far, we have George Jesse here. I don't know too much about him, but. Maybe he'll prove to the UWO fans that he's worthy of being here. Now you gotta wait and see who's the next opponent is going to be in this Drew Way matchup, this triple threat. Oh no, please, what? Oh my god. Him again? Did he make an appearance at the Soul Survivor Mega Event? Oh my God, Bugs Bunny! <laughs> He's part of the Cold Division. Seriously? Oh my God, what a travesty this, this is, ladies and gentlemen. I know I have a grudge against Bugs Bunny. I don't know if he likes me, but I certainly don't like him. But you know what? I want to give him a chance. I want to give him a chance here to impress you guys and to impress myself. Cause currently, ugh, I hate this buddy. I mean, look at this. How obnoxious is this guy? He has hair written on his shirt. Come on now. Anyway, we await the final entrance of this triple threat matchup. Oh, but it's Bunny, what the freak hell? Well, I know what this guy is. This is Sam Fisher from the Splinter Cell series. But I can tell on his face he means serious business. He's not out here to play any games whatsoever. He's here to kick butt and take names. Oh man, this, this is gonna be very a very interesting matchup. On one corner we have George Jetson, and another corner we have uh Bugs Bunny. And in the third corner, the final corner, we have Sam Fisher. I'm not sure if Sam Fisher is a high flyer. That's mostly with the Cold Division. Wait, the Cold Division is just a mixture of styles. You, you could be unorthodox as you want. That's what makes this Cold Division so, so unique. And it updates on the Cold Division Championship that took place at UWO Payback. We've been, I've been told that Luke Skywalker, I mean, Jackie Chan, the former UWO co-champion, suffered a concussion after that tombstone he took from Luke Skywalker. And yes, Luke Skywalker is the new co-division champ, co, co champ, co champ. And I get mixed up. I mean, it's Bugs Bunny's fault. But later on tonight, like I said. Now main event, it's going to be Zack the Black Ranger and Deadpool vs. Spy and Leroy Jenkins. The Spy, the Spy pretty much cost the Black Ranger the number one contendership for the UWL title, so it's going to be very interesting. And I don't know when Professor Farnsworth is going to reveal his agenda for the Super Smash Bros. But anyway, that's another issue. This issue, I got to talk about this matchup here. 
first match of the night. Oh, nice close line there from George Jessen. He said Fisher on top of this game delivers a high elevated back suplex. The Bugs Bunny, oh, I hate this bunny. A kick to the sternum. Bugs Bunny going high risk. What's this? Oh, he was going for a moonsault, but Sam Fisher just applied the sleep home to George Jetson, preventing Bugs Bunny from doing the moonsault. Then we have a one on one exchange from Sam Fisher and George Jetson. And look, look at this bunny. He's playing some games here. He is a smart addict if you checked out his cartoon series. There's a nice drop kick there from George Jetson. Now Bugs Bunny back on the action here. Bugs Bunny just standing back. He is being smart. So I'll give him that. Even though I hate his guts right now. The same Fisher applying the armbar on the outside of the floor. Bugs Bunny, look at, look at this character right here. Bugs Bunny taunting up. Then we have a one-on-one -on -one exchange from Sam Fisher and Bugs Bunny, but Bugs Bunny takes advantage and delivers an arm break. And wait a minute, George Jetson, oh, just nipped him with that drop kick. He scraped his nose. That little scrape took down Bugs Bunny, so it pretty much worked. Oh, Bugs Bunny just goes flying over the top rope. I'm not sure what happened there. And wait, wait, wait a minute. Here's the co-champion. Oh, he, the co-champion. Ooh, Skywalker. Man, this guy's a... I'm sorry, but... He's just not right. I mean, after the matchup he had with Luke's, He had with Jackie Chan. I mean, he gave him a little blow and just walked away with his, with his championship. Does that seriously sound like a champion? Oh, wait, wait a minute. What the? Oh, see, Bugs Bunny and his cartoon games. I mean, Sam Fisher... He just went through the turbo. What the freaking hell? Uh, okay, I don't know what to call that. That was just weird. Uh, see, 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 we, see when you have people like Bugs Bunny and, and CAWEs, this stuff happens. Wait a second. Oh, I've been heard that's his finishing maneuver. Maneuver, he hasn't have a name for it yet. I mean, George Jetson, he accidentally took out the ref. But he helped him back up. I gotta give him that. And George Jetson went for the hurricane run. A very nicely done. And once again, Bugs Bunny on the outside of the perimeter of the ring, just spectating this matchup. Come on, the fans in attendance are supposed to be spectating, not you. And the Dragon Sleeper applied there by Sam Fisher. What's Sam Fisher doing here, sending Bugs Bunny across the ropes, but does nothing. Turns his attention to George Jetson, and once again, with the sleeper, the dragon sleeper that is, to George Jetson. Now George Jetson has to hold the Bugs Bunny here, and a very nice Northern Light suplex from this guy George Jetson here. Wait, wait, wait a second! Wait a second! Oh my goodness, what a maneuver that was! Again, word from the back. Through my headset, that move is called the Space City Sprocket. Wait a minute, wait a second. Oh my goodness. Sam Fisher hits his finisher one more time. One, this match is two. over. Bugs Bunny saves the pin. He saves this matchup. George Jetson has a. Wait, wait a minute. Oh no. He's going for his finish maneuver again. Bugs Bunny. He hit some. I'm not sure what he calls this move either. I mean, these guys, this is their first matchup here in UWO. Oh, but I know what that is. That's a Hurricane Rana. But George Jackson kicks up, and Bugs Bunny is not satisfied. This is just a crazy matchup here. Pretty hard to call, but I'm trying my best. Oh, this is a chop there by Sam Fisher. Wait, again? He is his finisher for the third time in this matchup. Goes for the cover, but Bugs Bunny is right there. One, Wait a second. Two, there's a two. Three. And there's a three. Oh, you have got to be kidding me, Bugs. I mean, you did an elbow drop between George Jetson's legs and an elbow drop outside of, of George Jetson's legs. Come on, uh, see? Why do you, why do we hire this bunny anyway? And there's the fish maneuver there by Sam Fisher. I see the fail here. 
by the hair Bugs Bunny. Ha, I just don't understand how you can mess up that easy. Anyway, we're gonna take a quick commercial break. Be right back with more UWO action. the number one contender for the UWO title, The Punisher. The Punisher had an excellent matchup with the Black Ranger, but due to outside interference, even though the match was no disqualification, the Punisher took advantage and got the pinfall, thus making him the number one contender for the UWO championship. And the UWO champion is time for Seti. He beat the rap in a 20 minute Iron Man matchup. And unfortunately, after the event was over, after payback was over, the Rob, he was going to his car, but it was just terrible. He just got hit by a car. We have the footage I saw it before, but I don't think all the UWO fans saw it. It's just, it's just brutal. It's, un it's inhuman, to say the least. But anyway, looks like we're gonna hear a word from the Punisher here. What he has to say, and speaking of the Punisher and Time Versetti, just about like two years ago, they have some history. We might talk about that also, but I don't know. Let's just hear what he has to say. Pusher's calling out Time Rossetti. Time Rossetti's not gonna hesitate. He's gonna come out here to confront the Pusher, his challenger for the UWL Championship current. As you see, the leg of Time Rossetti, the rub was the cause of that. But before the mega event payback, the rub just smashed his leg over with a chair. And at the mega event during the Iron Man matchup, the rub. He was just vicious on time to set his leg. But anyway, let's, let's hear what time to set he has to say. <laughs> 